Right, so got another MNNI member here. We're gonna be doing a alignment on this 370Z. And uh, I'm gonna, wow, apologize about the noise. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a uh, sports alignment to set it up for spirited track driving. So we're gonna get right into it. Man, I love this two-tone. All right. Oh, she sounds good too. All right, all set up. This thing looks really good. Oh yeah. All right, we got it all set up here. So initially, one four, one seven. We were not able to recover the camber. I basically have to disassemble the strut and try to shift it, which oftentimes you don't really get away with. So he will at some point need to get camber plates for the uh, front struts. That'll help bring that back. 1.7 is a good measurement, but not when you got 1.4 on the other side. The vehicle is always going to want to pull to the most positive camber. So right now, it's going to want to track to the left. Now, especially when you come into talking about the rear camber as well, because we were 3, 3.4, three, that is a quite a bit of difference. So I was able to recover it 3.2, 3.2, three, two, three, two, 1.4 weren't able to recover the back right there we got it towed in on both sides this is to help the vehicle go straight instead of pulling towards the more positive camber and then we're towed in on the rear for better traction around corners also guys always throw a little paint over your uh, adjustment bolts that will help keep them from rusting and seizing into place it's not not a permanent solution but it will help so as you can see just hit it with some very thick black farm paint as you can see right there help it so next time you go back in it's not seized and then one thing i would strongly recommend grease the threads wipe the grease off so there's residual grease inside the threads Put electrical tape over the outer tie rod and the adjustment nut and that will help from this rusting into the threads or seizing in place gives you a good example right there